Hey, old man. Sorry to have dragged you. Hmm. Whoa, what's with that face? Hearing you apologize like that puts me a I mean, you still have to deliver that Yeah, but if I can't see her until the new moon, then that's that, ain't it? Till then, I'm at the mercy of the princess's whims. Well, well, aren't you sure about that? If we spend too long out here and you... Nah, I'm used to being yelled at. If I gotta wait, I can wait until the next new moon. It ain't like we're gonna run out of new moons anytime soon. You certainly sound patient. You sure about this? Of course. Patience is something you'll learn with age. Ugh, I swear. Well, making the right decisions is part of being an adult, too. I'll leave as soon as I feel like I have to. Anyway, let me travel with you kids for a while longer. Sure, whatever you want. Particular. What about you? Where were you? I just wanted to get a look at the... It's good to be prepared. It was hot. Well, I assumed as much. But it wasn't as hot as I thought it'd be. Hmm. Well, okay. But... Right. That'd be nice. Oh, well. I guess we couldn't expect him to be that easy to find. <sighs> what? You want to go out and check... No, that's okay. If we head out to look for him, we... Oh, I... Why the long face? Is the desert really as dangerous? I don't think Rita would joke around with such a serious look on her face. Yeah, I guess I've dragged all of you all the way. You should stop worrying about all of us. Huh? I mean, we're just doing what we- but what about you? M me You were saying that you need to figure out who- Yes, that's true, but- Estelle, you're brave Vesperia's if you tell us to go somewhere, and if you tell us to go for you- Yuri. There's no need to rush to give me an answer. <sighs> huh? What? Isn't the reason that you've been wandering around? You got... I'll consider it... Uh, Who are you? Uh, just an acquaintance. He's my husband. Well, I got the info about the Maristella that you want. I appreciate But first... Huh? It's a rumor I heard. Hmm. So it is... If that's the case, then I can't... If it gets out that I did business with the granddaughter of a guy who broke the guild's rules, no... I freed his... I don't know about you. I can't afford to be involved with someone going around... So don't you show your face and... <sighs> and if you pull anything on any of the members of my guild out of reason, I can guarantee you you'll regret it if you think that World Cellar is no more than a map-making guild. But I'd never do anything like that. Oh, really? In any case, the blood of a coward who would attack ships while feigning to protect them runs through your vein. I can't even begin to guess what... <sighs> and as for you, I don't know if... So you just take it all in silence, huh?
I just don't know whether he's actually my grandfather and what actually... I don't know what's true and what's a lie. All I know is that is why I can neither admit or deny what people say. So you don't even know who you are? I know that much at least. Then wasn't there something you could have said? It's okay. I'm used to people saying all sorts of things. I don't care about any of that nonsense. You're putting on a pretty tough act. You better not start crying once you're all on your own. What good would crying get me? You see, my mom... Well, I guess it's really none of my business. Still, it's not like you can go treasure hunting without any clues. Oh, don't worry. I've got clues. for your I want to thank Huh? What? I'm afraid I must take my leave. Take your leave? You're not thinking of going alone, are you? My desire to meet Are you crazy? That's way too dangerous. Which is why I I won't have the rest of you caught up any further in my own selfish quest. Do justice and Huh? Oh, right. That's one of the laws of our guild. There's no justice in letting Estelle mark. I don't think I have it in me to break our laws. How about you, Carol? Right! It seems those are the rules. I'm terribly flattered. Estelle, wait! Have you all lost your marbles? We're talking about a force of nature here. Which is why we're all going together. I'll admit I'm a little scared. You! You talk some sense into them! If I start whining now, I'll have to go all the way back to Nordopolica by myself, right? Ooh! There's no reasoning with any of you! Are you sure you're dead set on this? Yes. You all have something that's important to you. I realized that I didn't have anything like that for myself, and I knew I had to find a purpose of my own. Something I can dedicate. I made the decision to begin this journey, and I have to finish what I've started. This... Okay, okay, you win. So we'll be aiming for the desert center. Huh? Hey, I tried talking sense into you, idiot. Rita. There's actually no real need for you to... You've got your air credit research to worry about, don't you? There's no telling what you idiots will get into if I don't keep an eye on you. The air credit isn't going anywhere. I'll go check up on it later. But... We're not leaving until we've taken care of all our prep. I'm sorry to be- I think we had a pretty good idea things would turn out like this from the start. Yeah. Thank you. Huh? Where's Ju- Everything settled? Yeah. Well, what did you decide? We're going to the center of the desert. I had a feeling, so I've made some- We'll want to be good and rested before we leave this town behind, that's for sure. You're always thinking about your next nap, aren't you? Yeah, but I sleep so much better if I have a little company. I wonder what Pharaoh will do. Oh, my heart! Whoa, whoa, are you okay, old man? It's just, the sound of money gets this old heart racing. Stop that jingling, would you, Carol? Huh? All right, whatever. I can't believe how much gold we have. I bet it would feel great to spend all this gold at once. No way! We still need to save lots more! Ah, sounds like you've got plans for the future, kid. Saving for a hideout for brave Vesperia? No, I wasn't thinking of that. It's just that saving lots of money feels good, you know? You know what they call that, kid? Penny pinching. That's what. There's no use hoarding your money for later. You gotta spend it all at once. Go wild! No, no, that's even worse. You kids have got no sense of moderation. All right, old man, then what do you think we should do with it? Just invest it in Old Raven. My secret guild knowledge will give you back a hundred times as much. Pass.
Can we stay the night here? Hello. Welcome to the... What's with this night? Well, uh... Will... Will you be staying the night? Yeah, we're going into the desert, so we came into town... Oh, so it's you who want to... You know, it's... We know it's dangerous. Oh, I see. In that case, I'll get your provisions together before you set out. Your stay will cost 400 gold. Is that okay? Have a nice day. This town kind of gives me the creep. All these knights stick out like sore thumbs. Anyway, time to... But man, I just can't relax with the knights standing out at the entrance. It bothers you? Yeah, it does. If they're here to protect us, there ain't nothing wrong with that, is there? All right, everyone. Let's get some sleep. Hmm. Yeah, thanks for the help. Um, I don't know your re- It would really be a good idea for you to stay in town. Thanks, but we've already put a lot of thought into it. I see. Our canteens are this- Looks like enough to me. Yeah, we should be able to get more water from certain types of cacti growing in the desert. Right. If we use them to fill up our canteens whenever we need more water, we should be fine. You sure know a lot. Thank you very much. It's the least I could do. I'm giving that to you, so don't hesitate to use it as go out and turn right where the road forks. You'll find a lake at the end of the road. You'll be able to fill up your canteens there. Gotcha. By the way, what was with the knight who was here? He was guarding me all night. One lie after another. That was a supervisor. The knights are here to make sure that townspeople don't talk freely to visitors from outside of town. Why would they do something? I don't understand the reasons, but it's on the magistrate's orders. People other than merchants like myself aren't allowed out of their houses. I see. That's why we didn't see any townspeople outside. I wonder if there's a crooked magistrate here too. There was no magistrate in this town until recently, and then finally he... Really? Yes. The Imperial Knights have started to move into Nordopolica of late. It seems they may have already gone into arrest Bellius. The appointment of a new Imperial Magistrate to our town seems to be related to that as well. The Imperial Knights are going... They say that Bellius had something to do with engineering the Great War behind the scenes. Bellius did that? That's what they're saying in town. Well, I don't think the Empire will be able to do much so long as Palestrale is there, but... Thank you very much. Wait! Yeah, thanks for the help. Let's go fill up at the lake. This town's only on the edge of the desert, but the heat still got my head spinning. Youngsters these days got no stamina, I tell ya. <sighs> Whoa! No comeback from Rita. It's hot. It's so hot. I think she's so hot she didn't even hear him.
Water. I think we're ready to write. Stop it! Let Bad boys and girls that break curfew must be punished by the magistrate. No way! We're Leave these children to me. I'll see. Stay out of the Please, I will go and apologize. Hey. It worked, did Thanks for saving us. What are your name? My name's Alf. Mm. What happened to your mom? They got taken into the desert in the magistrates. Someone told me they're going to look for Pharaoh. Pharaoh? Yeah. But what do you think they're planning on doing once they... And using the townspeople to do their dirty work? It's despicable. Hey, hey, bro, are we gonna go look for mom? No, you're not. If you kids go into the desert, you'll die for sure. <sighs> Judith! We'll look for your parents. You kids can't go out into- Really? I don't lie. Nope. Fine by me. You're surprisingly agreeable. His guild is guided by justice, after all. Thanks, everyone! Here, take this. A glass bead? It's a precious gem. It's our reward for- Now that we've gotten paid in advance, we've- Yeah. But what concerns me is that the Empire is investigating Pharaoh. I was just thinking about what the Magistrate here could be planning. It's so strange that he'd be looking for Pharaoh. Though I guess it makes sense if- But they don't know that he's after Estelle yet, do they? So why are they going after him then? How should I know? And we still don't know why there's a curfew in- Anyway, first we should go to the Sands of Kagor. Right, we can look into the mysteries of this town once we come back. If we don't rescue those kids' parents soon, they'll keel over in this heat. That's true. So then? Yes, I think the parents of those children were probably taken this way too. All right, let's go. There's no shade any- I never imagined it would be th Nobody lasts long out here without the proper supplies. What's with him? He looks like he's out for a walk in the park. Hey, old man. Aren't you hot? Uh, heck yeah! That love- I feel like the temperature goes up every time somebody says the word hot. 
We'll be fine, so long as we remember to keep our water well stocked. Right, the cacti. The parents of those children are out there with no supplies whatsoever. We do have Pharaoh to look for, but... Yes. Would it be alright if we took care of Alf and Layla's request first? Um, but... You've more than fulfilled your obligation to me. Estelle! Okay then, let's find their parents. Was that Pharaoh? Then he really is somewhere in the desert! Settle down. You'll get plenty of attention once we're done helping those... We keep going and going, but all we get is more sand and more blue sky. You're doing better than me if you can look at the sky, Raven. The only thing I see is sand. How come an old fart like you has so much energy anyway? Talking's only gonna wear you out. If one of us goes down, it'd be about all we could manage to get them back to safety. And I, for one, am in no mood to be giving out piggyback rides. If I collapse, Raven, you can carry me. Sorry, but this back's reserved for ladies only. I'll die before I collapse. I won't let myself be a burden either. The same goes for me, of course. Hey, there's no reason to go stomping on an old man's feelings, is there? They're wide open. It doesn't seem fair. Azure Red! Dragon! Okay, that's enough! Oh, and I undefiled purity. Take this! Oh, Azure I found your weak spot. Oh, power to shine! Take Photon! this! Again, thy undefiled purity! Splash! I found your weak spot! Oh, power- <laughs> <laughs> Here we go! Take this! This puts us at Take this! Oh, power to die, die so shine! here but this is how what an idiot looks like this situation calls hmm? canteen filling time me next. we need to make sure to keep hydrated right we wouldn't want to get sunstroke if everyone's finished let's go
Better stop plodding along like a zombie, or you'll... How are you in such good spirit? Some people take pleasure in the suffering of others. Why, I oughta... Don't waste your energy. That sort of happiness simply isn't healthy. No, not at all. By the way, why were you in this desert before? I used to live in a town up in the mountains to the north of here, so I sometimes came all the way to the desert? Anyway, we hardly have time to look for anything out here. Seriously, if we run out of water, we'll be goners. We need to find something like a clue soon. Yes. I can't wait to fight this one. Don't just stand there whining. Luna Fang! Odin of this modest land. Oh, power the trash. Photon! Ha! Destruction field! Ha! Azure Rebels! Luna Fang! Take this! Azure Wolf! New Moon Blade! All right, who's next? Eagle. Oh, sharpened rage! Run through that which blocks our Take future! This. Run the game! Oh, power the trisoul! Shine! Yeah! Photon! Luna Ascendant! Didn't work? Smile! Ah. Wavering dark! Yes! Yeah. Stars! I'm using this! The sign of victory!
Don't go drinking all of it. Thanks, Yuri! Hey. And you say I'm the one always wanting to rest. Yeah! Huh? Water! Oh, Carol, be... <laughs> Looks like... Wait up for old Ray! And here I thought they couldn't bear to go another step. Oh, I think I'm in heaven. I thought we were really done for. Hey now, you gotta be tougher than that if you're gonna save the world, kids. Shut up. It'll be dangerous if we just keep going like this. If we turn back now, though, we'll only disappoint those poor... We've gotta keep looking as long as we can. If we're lucky, we may even find Pharaoh along the way. That's right. And with this spring, we shouldn't have any trouble keeping up the search. If you've already eaten the poison, you may as well lick the plate. Yeah, you're right. We've come this far. How about your water bottle, Carol? Here. I think. Thanks, Judith. Thanks. Everybody else all set? Yes. All right, let's keep moving. What the? What are you doing, old man? Uh, you see, I... Huh? What is that? Ah! It's Yuri! I thought it... That's my line. They don't tell me you're searching for treasure in the sand. Quite so! What's this? A treasure that I freed hid. This chest? I'm surprised you were able to find... An adventurer's intuition is even sharper than... Intuition? Oh, but you can't make light of intuition. Seriously? Nah, this is just rubbish. Besides, finding... It's recovering your memory. I. And in order to do that, I need to find me grandfather's treasure, the Maristella. Yeah? You still haven't recovered? Hmm. Unfortunately, but my journey's only... She sure recovers quickly. I like that about her. Really? I'm like that too, you... Hey. Definitely. Patty, why don't you come with us too? Hmm. But I need to keep hunting for treasure. Shut up and just come with us, alright? Alf and Layla's parents don't seem to be anywhere. And with the desert as brutal as all this, odds are they're not holding up too well. Thanks, old man. This hot-as-hell desert was missing a looming sense of dread. How could Kimor just abandon people out here because they got on his nerves? Seriously, let's hurry up and find those kids' parents while we still have some strength left. Right. Thank you. 
Let's go. Uh, are you? Do you feel better now? Do <sighs> you mean this woman? Please hold still. Oh. oh. Thank you so. We're alive. Please, it's not. We'll have time to relax once we get you back alive. What's the problem? You're pretty crazy to. I'd like to thank you for saving us. Oh, please. We don't. No, that. Th please. Come to Mantake so that I can pay you back for what you've done. Mantake? Wait. Are you the parents of Alf and Layla? Y yes. Did you see our children? Yes. We. They were worried about their mom. They were even going to come out into the desert to look for you. Oh, this is terrible. We have... Don't be so hasty. Do you think you two can go back by yourself? Well, we... Uh, uh, that is... <sighs> no, I guess we can't. Then just calm down for now. Aye, that's right. Just lie down and relax. Patty, I think that's taking it a little too far. Bird. It sounds close. Sounds like it came from just up ahead. So we'll get to meet him. It's about time. You two come too. Yes. Make sure to keep a safe distance. You'll want to be out of the way in case a fight breaks out. Y yes. <laughs> Patty, watch your step. It's dangerous. Whoa! That was a close call. Repeat, you were only warning me. <laughs> Repeat seems to like Patty. Why is that? He just likes kids. He wants youth in them, not gray and stolid. So my age has been the problem. Wait, Patty is certainly young, but that's not everything, right? <laughs> Boiled eggs are the best part. Nonsense! Daikon is the centerpiece, Patty. Daikon! Hold up now! That's unexpected. 
Usually you're happy with anything you can chew through, Rita. That's just how good skewers are. But both Rita and the old man are wrong. Where are they mistaken? The true star of skewers is fish cakes. Especially the white ones. <coughs> fish cakes, is it? And repeat agrees. Well, I don't mind as long as it's tasty. Something isn't right. That's not Pharaoh. Yeah, there's something different about that voice. <laughs> what the? It's disgusting! Using a decoy to sneak up on us? What a cowardly monster! I've never seen a monster like that! That's not a monster. If it's not a monster, what the hell is it? Even repeats frightened. This can't be good. Let's get out of here! It's coming this way! Damn. Looks like we have no choice. Out of the way, you two! What is this thing? I don't want to deal with it if we don't have to. Ew. Come on, guys. Fight! Heat! Who cares about a little heat? Nice. Grant them thy undefined purity! Now we're the smile of wavering darkness! Zero! Power that tries soul shine! Alright! Run through that future! Did it work? Power that tries soul shine! Her caprice to this is wild! Oh, brilliant angels, who does your favor? Oh, sharpened rage! Run through that! Nurse! 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 Priest of innocent waters! Champagne! That's no good! Destruction oh, field! Rage. Run through that which blocks our future! <laughs> Stalagmite! <laughs> <laughs> this is it! This is it! soul shine! Photon! I'll blow you away! <laughs> oh, Take this! Blade. You're dead! <laughs> Divine wall! <laughs> You're gone! <laughs> Take <laughs> this! You're, You're dead! That's where it hurts! Divine wall! <laughs> Pierce Cluster! Delight I'll blow you away! Shining Eagle! Rage. Oh, 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 which blocks our future! Shining Eagle! Oh, 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 Shining Eagle! You're dead! Oh, power Divide the Wolf! Oh, oh, I'm all okay! Right. Oh, sharpened rage! <laughs> Run through that which blocks our future! You still have more! Come to me! All right. First aid! Oh, brilliant angels, grant us... Nurse! Oh, oh, caprice of innocent that. waters! All right. Champagne! I found your weak spot! Holy power! Right. Come Grant to me! Grant thy undefiled purity! Oh, brilliant angels, so grant us your favor! Take this! Nurse! Oh, Out of my way! Of innocent waters! Champagne! I found your weak spot! Oh, affliction! Oh, sharpened rage! I'll blow you away! Destruction! Come and save us! Shining Eagle! You're dead! Divine War! Yeah. I guess we got it, but... Oh, I'm so tired. Come on, snap out of it. I'm not done yet. That's the logical outcome. Oh, I feel so powerful. It vanished. What's this? Uh... Rita... The more simmering... I'm afraid he... This isn't... What? Uh, 
That dragon from the Weasand of Kados. <laughs> Go ahead. Hope you choke on my bones. We... and this can't be heaven. Where are we? Morning. Don't you want a morning kit? Oh, Yuri. Yeah. How about you guys? Are you alright? Yes, it would seem that way. We all collapsed in the desert, right? So what are we doing in this town? Seems like someone came to our aid. Though we're not sure who. I wonder what kind of praiseworthy fellow could cross such a toasty desert and save so many people. We need to find whoever it was. What about the couple who was with us? They appear to have been brought here as well. So they didn't get a look at our rescuers either? Apparently they lost consciousness like the rest of us. I believe the two of them are having a look around town. I wonder, was it just a What do you mean? Oh, just before I blacked out, I saw that dragon that got the Really? Yeah. No, I didn't. And that monster must have... A monster saved us? Was it just a mirage? So, what's the story? A kindly gentleman is... Kindly gentle? There's no barrier here. I thought the mountains in the east were supposed to be uninhabited. Rita, Carol, over... What's that? The monster that attacked us in the desert dro... I didn't see any feathers. That's one of Pharaoh's feathers. But why would that monster have one of Pharaoh's feathers? Hmm. Man, there's so much we don't know. Welcome back. And just why was it up to me to go, Trump? If I'd gone, this sweet young lady would have... Unsafe? You can't possibly mean... Oh, I don't know. Maybe. I think I'm gonna gag. Suppose I don't mind people thinking I'm dangerous. Adds to me. It seems we're in Jormgen. You know, that town from the diary on the ghost ship. Wait, this is Jormgen? The town that needed the clear seal crystal to protect itself from monster? It makes sense. They don't have a barrier here. That must be why they were searching for a way to drive away the monster. But that was a thousand years ago. Yeah. And I find it strange that they were getting by at all without a barrier. You're right. I. What if we were to show this case to one of the locals and ask them? Yes, we might look. I agree. What was the deal with that weird monster we ran into in the sands of Kogor? Just the thought of it still sends chills down my spine. Was that thing even alive? Huh? What do you mean? Well, it wasn't anything like other creatures that make their home in the desert. Huh. 
Another astute observation from Captain Carroll. Whatever it was, I hope we never see it again. Me too. something about this box? Launchy had it. On a ship called the Atherum, my lovely. Of course. Y uh, yes. Did you see Launchy? And Launchy would... Oh, Launchy is... Your love. You're hopeless. Oh, I... Could I ask your name? Oh, uh, my name is Uifon. That's the name that was in the diary we found on the Atherum. Perhaps she's a descendant with the same name? Do you know about the Clear Seal Crystal? They say it has the power to drive back monsters. The Sage said it was necessary to make a barrier around the town. I is that what's in the box? Yes, we can't... I, I hey, could I have the box? Wow, is this the Clear Seal Crystal? Looks like it. It's so sparkly and glittery. A treasure even more beautiful. So who's that sage you were talking about early? The sage is a great Critian who came to our town from across the desert. A Critian? Well, creating a barrier is basically creating a Blastia. Blastia? But we can make Blastia with current technology, right? There are people who do. You saw the Blastia at Emid Hill in Ker Bakram, but I don't think that Sage guy is the one who made those Blastia. Uh, I'm sorry, but the Sage said that the Clear CL Crystal was needed to create the barrier, so Long Chi set out to look for it. It's been three years since he left. Three years, huh? Wait, this sounds... Yeah, the stories don't match up. You think she could have miscounted by a thousand years? How old is she anyway? The same thing could have happened three years ago, or a thousand years ago, probably. They say that history repeats itself, but who really knows? Is that Sage in this town? Where does he live? Oh, yes, he lives in the house farthest into the town. I think it might be faster if we went to talk to the Sage. Yes. Um, if you're going there, could you take the Clear Seal Crystal to the Sage for me? Yes, of thank you very much. Okay, let's go. So after all we went through to cross the desert, we can't meet Pharaoh. And after you've all risked your lives to help me. Maybe it's better that we didn't find him after all. Yeah. If we had to fight him now, we probably wouldn't make it out. Think about it though. Pharaoh can fly. He's free to be pretty much anywhere at any time. Tracking him down will be a tall order unless he's got a lair somewhere in the area. Ugh. No one's saying that meeting him will be impossible. We might get some information if we ask around in the town. You're right. Thank you, both of you. Excuse me. Huh? You're... who exactly? We've run into each other a couple times. 
You? How have you come to this place? What do you mean, how? I see. And yet, how did you... Hmm? No matter. For what... We're a little curious. This must have cost you dear. Actually, it just sort of landed in our lap. Hmm. You're planning on making a barrier blastia, aren't you? You're free to go pretending you're a sage. Who would even consider building a barrier blastia with something that's so obviously not a core? But it is a solid mass of air. It simply lacks an inscribed formula. Lacks an inscribed formula? What do you mean? They are most commonly known as apatheia, of which the clear CL crystal is one example. So this is an apatheia? That the treasure you've been looking for, old man? Also, I am not the same. Huh? No such being exists any longer. Mm, that's a problem. Uh, we'll... Neither I, nor humanity. Whoa! What are you... It's the same phenomenon we... Oh, man. The Apatheia bring only chaos to humanity. They are better off returned to air. Return to air? That's <laughs> still no reason to go sm- What kind of a person? Wasn't the clear seal crystal... Uh, the app- This town has no use for a barrier. This place has been granted everlasting calm. Come to mention it. But still, there are monsters like Pharaoh nearby. How do you know of Pharaoh? I'd ask you the same thing. You seem to know about him yourself. Please, tell us what you know. Pharaoh referred to me as a poison. I see. You know something, don't you? There is a being in this world who possesses a power the Endelikea despise. You mean... This being is known as the Child of the Full Moon. Child of the Full Moon? Like in the legend? By Entelikea, you mean Pharaoh? That is correct. But what would the Entelikea have against me? What is this power the Child of the Full Moon possesses that they despise? That answer lies only within the hearts of the Entelikea themselves. Which means I've got no choice but to find Pharaoh and ask him myself. Do not be foolish. Meeting Pharaoh would end only in the death of the Child of the Full Moon. But... Estelle, give it a rest. Hey, Regay, uh, Jaeger from Ruinsgate talked about the Entelikea early. Something about them being the ancient race that built Nordopolica. So Pharaoh built Nordopolica? That doesn't seem possible. Take your leave. There's nothing more for you here. Wait, there's something I want to ask you. What were you doing at that Air Crene? Just who are you? What is that sword of yours? Those matters exceed your comprehension. Do not ask of them again. Go. I have nothing more to say. Where do you get off? Rita. Duke may have been the one that saved us in the desert. Hmm. Maybe. I'm gonna go and thank him. Hold up. He doesn't seem the type to do something like that. You don't think so? Just a hunch. You said that child of the full moon he mentioned was the sister of Brave Vesperia, right? Yeah. Goddess who bathes this world in her golden light. Your brother, Brave Vesperia, watches over us from the sky. You remain bound to your mother, the Earth and will shelter her with your unceasing protection. Is there like a hidden meaning in there? I'm not sure, but maybe it's more than just an old legend. Remaining to protect the Earth, huh? Could protecting the Earth have anything to do with ruling over this world? You mean like becoming the Emperor? Which means all- I've never heard of it. Hmm. This all sounds pretty complicated. Yeah, I sup- It's too complicated for you t Rita can explain it to you later. Me? Shouldn't we be thinking more about what to do next? I'm gonna stay here. There are things I've got to investigate. Investigate? Clear seal crystals, apatheia, all kinds of things. Honestly, 
I have a few bones to pick with Mr. Warm and Fuzzy over there. If you're all going back, we'll have to say our goodbyes here. But... Oh, that's too bad. I don't imagine the desert will be much fun on your own, but good luck. Oh, that's right. I can't go anywhere without crossing that desert. We can afford to take a load off while she's checking things out, can't we? I'm pretty interested in apathy. If we're going back into the desert, we need to take time to prepare. We don't want to keel over again. That's true. How about we leave tomorrow? Rita, what? Shouldn't be a problem. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay then, we'll meet up near the exit tomorrow morning. Right. See you then. I have nothing left to say to you. <clears throat> You're not gonna follow him? What's the point? He's not gonna talk to me. So this was a complete waste of time? Well, I wouldn't go that far. Apathea? When the air crene went berserk, Rege, I mean, Jaeger was carrying this box. This box was what messed up my magic. You think the apathea is what's causing the air crane to go out of control? Judging from the evidence, it... So when the Blastia and Heliord was going out of control, you think there was apathea nearby? And the air crane and cave mock too? There may have been. Otherwise, maybe the apathea has been damaging the whole world's air crane little by little. And a large distortion just happened to appear then. I see. It's really nothing more than a guess, but it could be right. You don't sound very sure of yourself. In science, you continually make hypotheses, then test them. Hmm. Well, okay. Maybe I can do something with this after all. What are you gonna do now? The next step after a hypothesis is testing it. Hey, old man, you can feel free to go on ahead to Nordopolica. Hey there, youngin. What? You want to get rid of me so soon? Wrong. I just wouldn't want you to miss the new moon and your chance to deliver the letter all on our account. Honestly, I could do fine without your concern. Wrong again. If Brave Vesperia gets in the way of Altosk's work, we'll be apologizing to the Dawn for an eternity. What? It's a matter of Brave Vesperia being trustworthy. You see what I mean? We've still got time left until the... You sure? Anyway, ain't about to go back through the desert and that cave My, If I got killed by some monster on the way there, not... But Brave Vesperia certainly wouldn't look very trustworthy to potential clients then, would they? In that case, we collect your bones and the letter and deliver them as promised. Oh, how kind of... Wait, hey! Anyway, just as long as you won't go blaming me if you don't manage to deliver it on time. 
No problem. So you weren't able to meet Pharaoh after all. But I learned about some very important things, the child of the full moon and the Antilochia. But the only new thing we learned was what those words mean. As for the reason Pharaoh's trying to kill you, it seems we won't know unless we go and ask him directly. But you heard what he was saying. If I go to meet Pharaoh, he'll just wipe me out. It looks like we'll never know the truth then. After all this, it's like I'm being told that I should just give up. No, no way. Maybe... Huh? Maybe what I'm trying so hard to figure out isn't really that important to know at all. What do you mean? If I'd never met you, Yuri, and I just kept living my life in that castle, I would have lived without ever knowing about the Child of the Full Moon, or the Antilochia, or any... So maybe I could just go on living without knowing why Pharaoh wants me dead. So you're saying you should just go back to the capital? I think that's definitely an option. If that's what you want to do, I won't stop you. Yuri... Our contract with you is null and void at this point, after all. That's true. It's just, I don't really like hypothetical situations. And I'm not too good at pretending to forget things that I already know. If you can do that, then I don't have any problem with it. Then I... I can't do that either, but I have no idea what I should do in this sort of situation. You want to know the truth, but you don't know what to do. That'd be a good summary of your situation, right? Yes. Gotcha. You're always out walking around. Yes, I guess. That's unexpected. You seem to have some problems staying put yourself. I'm pretty restless myself. That's not so unexpected, I think. <laughs> Maybe it's the wanderlust coming back to me from when I used to fly around with Baul all the time. Yeah, back when you were wearing that weird white arm. Yes. Are you going to look for Pharaoh by yourself? Nah. Oh, then where were you planning on going? Only a walk. Oh, I see. Doesn't it seem like we've been meeting this way a lot recently? No, must be your imagination. find Pharaoh after all. Yeah, our first job as a guild was an egregious failure. What do you think? Should we go back to Dongrest? That might be best. 
But would you be okay with that, Yuri? And what about Estelle? I'd be fine with it. As for Estelle, I'll leave that answer up to her. All right. This sure is a serene little town. Huh? Oh, yeah. It is, isn't it? No guilds, no empire. Yeah, but I think it's relaxing. Yeah, but even so... That's how everyone is. Everybody prefers the place where they grew up. You too, Yuri? Well, yeah, sure. But if we're gonna work together in Brave Vesperia, we'll have to decide on a single place for our home base. We could always make someplace new, you know. Someplace new? Yeah, you know, everyone thinks of Dongrest as the Union City, but it's really Altosk City. It could be like that. Brave Vesperia could make its own city. Brave Vesperia's own city? Yeah, I like that idea. Well, either way, we've got a lot of jobs as a guild ahead of us before we can be thinking about things like that. Yeah, now that you mention it, Nordopolica is Polistrali's city, isn't it? Yeah, if you think of it that way, Nordopolica is more of a guild city than Dongrist, even. Yeah, and Bellius rules the city, too. Nordopolica, hmm. Leader of a city, Duce of a guild. I wonder what sort of person Bellius is. Is it any good? Why don't you try it out? It's my grandfather's secret. What? But did- I know everything there is to know about Eifried. That's how I figured out Eifried was the one who told me- Eifried told you your name? I. That's my oldest memory. Hmm. Just remembering that fond look makes me feel all- I don't know whether he's really my grandfather or not, but I feel that he was such an important person to me that I can't- I see. Still, it might have been smarter to... I, but... You're used to it, huh? I... I don't let small stuff like that bother me. Crying gets you nowhere, was it? But even if you understand that in your head, your emotions aren't necessarily gonna listen. I'm more patient than a camouflaged stone flounder sitting still in a field of stone. Oh yeah? But your info broker turned his back on you too. It's nothing. Things will work out. Tomorrow's another day. What will be, will be. In any case... You mean... Mm. Didn't I tell you? Glad you could make it. Sorry to keep you waiting. You'll be heading back too, right? Yes. Thanks to your help, we've recovered our strength. We were thinking we'd cross the desert with you all. That is, if you don't mind. Just make sure you don't go wandering off. How about us? What's our plan after this? I'm headed for the Air Crene and the Weasand of Kados, but I am curious about the Entelikea too. I have the honored task of delivering this letter here to Bellius. I'd like to meet Bellius once myself! I mean, seriously, I want to see just what kind of person the leader of the only guild to rival Altosk really is! Bellius? Yeah, 
Bellius is the Duce of Palastrale, which governs Nordopolica. She's the most important person there. You're friends with some... Huh? It's Nordopolica for me, too. I'm gonna see what Flynn has to say about those knights in Mantek. Well, that's assuming he's still in Nordopolica, of course. I... I want to know what... Which means I have to meet Pharaoh. But there's got to be another way that doesn't involve Pharaoh. Right. Besides, walking around in the desert just looking for him wouldn't be easy. Why don't we all head for Nordopolica, then? You're only looking to find out the reason you were... attacked by the... E yes I imagine Bellius could tell you if you met with her. Why? Because of the connection between the Antelikea and the Colosseum? I do remember Jaeger mumbling something about the Antelikea of Nordopolica. If we can believe anything he told us. Well, we'll pass through the Wiesent of Kados on the way to see Bellius. Good enough? True enough. All right then, Nordopolica it is. Right. First, let's get back to Mantek. What about Patty? If I remember correctly, there were some people in Nordopolica who didn't think too highly of Patty. I'll be fine, as long as I don't run into any of them. As soon as I'm out in the open sea, everything will be... Then, will you come with us? Aye, that I will. Didn't Bellius only meet with people on the night of the new moon? Yeah, we'll have to get a move on if we're going to see her. I'll kick myself if we miss the new moon and have to wait another month. Jorgen and Mantic are totally different. It's much cooler here. Maybe it's the ocean. The ocean is very nice, yeah? It's a beautiful place, too. But it seems boring. I wonder what the folks here do for fun. I kind of like it. This kind of calm, quiet village suits me. I can't stand loud people. Oh, that's gotta hurt, old man. She was talking about the town, not about me. Hmm, maybe. Did, do you really hate me that much? <laughs>